Hey there YouTubers, I haven't had a chance to give you a little garden update for a little bit, so I'm just going to walk you through a couple of things. I just wanted to start off by showing you my beautiful morning glories. This has become just an, a gorgeous, gorgeous aspect of the garden. Um, I really love it. opens up every single day. These gorgeous purple flowers, and these actually, if you let them go to seed, they will come back uh, the next year by self-sowing. So they go ahead and self-seed, which is absolutely perfect, and you can kind of transplant them right around the garden. Uh, these, you can see they've really started twining around themselves, um, and they, I mean, there's nothing negative to say about them. They're beautiful. Really, really nice to have in the garden. So the lemon cucumbers have managed the best through the, uh, the powdery mildew epidemic here. They are still actually going decently strong. Um, I might actually save a couple of these for seed, um, you can see there's tons of them down here. Uh, I'm out here picking them constantly. And they're great little cucumbers. There's nothing, not a complaint in the world about them. So absolutely recommend those. Um, you can see they did, they did get a beating. Um, they're not making it through, but they're doing much better than some of the other ones. All right. Um, as far as squash goes, I have one squash plant that is surviving the powdery mildew epidemic here. Um, it is still producing and I think I might be through the the worst of it um, this plant is doing well and the others have really succumbed and gotten beaten down here so the zucchini was the first to go um, some of the crookneck held on a little bit um, it's trying to fight its way back but I don't know maybe it'll make it maybe not we'll see all right I might try to clean out some of this stuff but it's just been it's just been so much chaos here the overwintered pepper plant has become an enormous mass of peppers. Uh, this thing is just the best thing. I'm bringing it in again next year, and uh, we'll we'll keep it going. I clear it off of peppers completely, and in about three weeks, it is uh, got peppers this big and bigger uh, that are just all over the place on it. So certainly recommend that. Uh, it's the only way to grow hot peppers is to bring them in over the winter and keep them alive. You can do one plant instead of doing eight. So that is going to be my practice from now on. It's just so much healthier, so much easier, and so much more productive. Last thing I'm going to show you here are these turnips, which I finally have harvested. And these are absolutely enormous. If you look at them, they're probably, they are bigger than a baseball, probably slightly low, smaller than a softball. I'm betting about four inches in diameter. So they are absolutely gorgeous. We will get those eaten. Got one little golden beet that was tacked along there. And uh, we're gonna do some good eating today. Uh, not much too crazy else to tell you about in the garden. This kale plant is doing beautiful. I'm gonna keep this going all the way in the winter and uh, hopefully be able to harvest from it. This one just is a, it's a monster of a kale plant. Um, gotten a little bit bitter in the heart of the summer, but I'm hoping that as it cools off and starts to get a couple freezes on it, it's gonna sweeten up. So I'll keep you posted there. Tomatoes are doing great, no complaints there. Um, I've got probably 15 or 18 bags of frozen tomatoes in my freezer. And uh, as you can see, I'm gonna be adding to it real soon. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful gardening season and uh, enjoy.